Hi guys, how are you? Today, I'm going to tell you how you are going to lose weight using the heart rate monitor. Many people are asking how we are going to lose weight. And normally, I ask them, what are the current activity you are doing? And they are telling me, that they are working too much hard to lose weight. But at the end, their weight doesn't change at all. It's a sad truth, but I'm going to tell you, there are specific heart rate in which you are going to burn fat only. It doesn't mean you run too much, you work too much, you are going to lose weight. But which heart rate that you are going to lose weight? So I will tell you, it's too easy. So pay attention. You need to know your maximum heart rate. Okay? You need to know, number one, your maximum heart rate. And to lose weight, from your maximum heart rate, you need to get the 60 to 70% of that, that is your zone for fat burning. It's going to be like this. 220 minus your age equals your maximum heart rate. You get it? 220 minus your age equals your maximum heart rate. So example, you are 20 years old. So 220 minus 20 equals 200. So for 20 years old, your maximum heart rate is 200. Then from this number 200, you have to get the 60 to 70 percent. Now, 60% of 200 is 120. Take it down. This is your lower zone. 120. Then, you need to take again the 70% of the 200 in which 140. So now you have these two numbers. 120 and 140. This number will be your zone for fat burning. So meaning, when you are running and your heart rate is 100, you are not going to lose fat at all. So what you are going to do, you have to run faster. Exert more effort until your heart rate goes higher until 120. But don't do it too much. Maybe it go 150 in which it's above your range. So meaning, you need to reduce back to one, at least 140. So you run, you run, you run. You say your heart rate 130. You are in the sweet spot. It's in between 120 and 140. So meaning, maintain this, maintain this uh, rhythm. In which, if you see, going above 140, you have to reduce and it's going less than 120 you have to exert more effort so it's so simple right some brand they don't want you to know about this and they are trying to make it very easy for you once doing the setup of your watch they just let you put your birth year in which they can calculate your age then from that they are telling you just maintain the red zone, the green zone, blue zone, like that. But at the end, it's the same calculation that I'm telling you. It's so easy. There are a lot of types of heart rate monitor. So, what I have now in my hand, this is the belt. This is called the heart rate sensor. So I'm going to put this inside my shirt like this so 
So my heart rate sensor is in here. This sensor connects thing with my watch. So in my watch, I can see now what is my heart rate. Some heart rate sensor is connecting with Bluetooth directly to your phone with some specific application. And some watches also calculating your heart rate through the sensor behind your wrist. So behind the watch, there is sensor in there. It's a listening sensor. It reads your heart rate. But the most accurate one is through this belt like this. Because it's read directly what is your heart rate. So based on what I am telling you, according to your age, please comment what is your target zone and see you in my next training.